Okay. Now I uh, have flown my TBM, so I've uh, decided it's time to stretch my legs in a few other machines. And this is the Bonanza G36. So I'm hoping that the uh, guy is watching. Because he had one, something like this. And ready to see if all my little little switches, bells and whistles are working. Looks like it. So we'll take the brakes off. And here we go. A little uh, tour of the Monterey Peninsula. Get back on the center. There we go. There we go. And we gotta get back in the cockpit. Twenty five, twenty five. Got twenty eight. We went up there right about 25, 25. That's close enough for this machine. Yeah, we'll stay down. Stay down here. Run over Monterey. Look down at my house. It's right, actually, it's right. Uh, looking in the wrong place. So. Oh yeah, here we go. Right. right in this little subdivision here. It's called Oak Grove. So I better tell him, okay. Monterey Tower Beechcraft 527 so Bravo we'll Charlie Frequency this is Change. the Coast Guard Pier. They have a couple of piers here. And uh, <laughs> only the Coast Guard Pier, I keep forgetting that. Because they have Fisherman's Wharf, which is right down here. And then they have right here is Wharf 2. So they have all kinds of boats parked right in there. This is the Naval, uh, no, excuse me, this is the Army Language School right here called the Presidio. And then we're getting the new Monterey. And then David Avenue comes up from the aquarium, which is right there. David Avenue goes right there. And then on this side is Pacific Grove. That right there is Stanford uh, Research. Uh, And uh, then we look down here at Pacific Grove. There we go. And looking down the coast. Now we're going to move the sun over to the west. That'll help it look a little better. There we go. Of course, this time of the year, with the sun in the, in the south, we almost want to... Let's try to get it over just a little bit more. So we can look, look here. So this is Spanish Bay, Pacific Grove is right behind us, 
There's the Army Language School, is right up in there. It's called the Country Club area, Monterey Peninsula Country Club. Goes right. Oh, that's Spanish Bay Golf Course right there. Now we're now we're seeing the Monterey Peninsula Country Club. There's the clubhouse right there. We have two 18-hole courses. 17-mile drive goes right along there. And then we have Spyglass is right in there. And then finally we have uh, Cypress Point. And we'll go around and see uh, see the this is the famous 16th of Cypress where they tee they tee it up tee across across there. Most people can hit hit right across that. Then, then we're going to fly right by the Lone Cypress. I'll have to kind of guess at that a little bit. I'm saying the Lone Cypress sits right in there. Right there. And then we're going to fly straight across to good old Pebble Beach. And right here is the lodge at Pebble Beach. There's the 18th hole. There's the Beach Club. There's Stillwater Cove. And the pier at the Beach Club looks like it's intact. This is the sixth hole. There's the old Pebble Beach Golf Course. Goes on here, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And 11 goes back up the hill. Carmel Beach, there's Carmel right there. Downtown Carmel, Ocean Avenue comes right down to the beach. Scenic Drive goes along the front here. And right out, right there is a Frank Lloyd Wright house. And we look up, look across to Point Lobos. And there was a family called Stewart that had a home right there. They tore that down. This is where the Carmel River comes out. So this is called Stewart Beach or Carmel River Beach. This is Carmel Meadows down here. And then the mission, the monastery. So we call this Monastery Beach. And then you got uh, right here is Whaler's Cove. Out here, out here is uh, is uh, Point Lobos. They, they were looking back at Pebble Beach. Way across is Santa Cruz. Way across there. So then, right down here, kind of kind of fun. Going past this uh, Point Sur, you see Big Sur way down there, and that may be the Big Sur as a as a hit big hill of land. That's where Highway One goes inland. It doesn't stay on the coast because of this the the Big Sur. So we're going to see the Highlands here, and there's a few few subdivisions, but this is generally. Carmel Highlands, and the Highlands Inn is right in, right in here, probably right there is the Highlands Inn. Then we're going to skip out into Carmel Valley. And we'll click this, and we'll just make it just skim over the top of the hill here. We should have had that at 24. You're probably screaming at me, guy, to get it down to 24, 24. You can put the power up into the green there. So we'll look back up toward Carmel. We've got 
got the nice uh, nice look uh, there's Carmel right there and uh, Carmel Bay with its little uh, micro bays and nooks and crannies and we're going to head out the valley so we, right here is the Carmel Valley and then just over that hill is Monterey Airport just over the hill right there So oh, we can pick up a little a little steam here. So we'll fly uh, to the village and then we'll swing around and come back to uh, Monterey. We'll do a little touch and go at Carmel. Normally we do that back into the wind, but uh, I'll just let it let it come on down here. When I was flying back in the '60s, they used to have a uh, in, right along in here, maybe atop there, they. They had a uh, lookout, a fire lookout, right there. These are called the Santa Lucia Mountains. And we, we, we could bring the sun up a little bit so we aren't hiding behind the hill. The sun's so low in the sky having all of this in the shadow. Hmm. Have, a, have a watch for the little Carmel Valley Airport. I think I can see I think I can see approximately where it would be. I think it's right in there. The uh, nursery, they closed in the uh, late 70s, early 80s. I used to take my students out here. I've told it about a hundred times already for uh, short field landings. And we always had the uh, we always had the winds on, on our tail, but there no no winds uh, programmed in the into the computer so we'll just we'll just land this way here comes the gear down and uh, we'll have to use full flap there we go and now they have a nursery that's using that and uh, Scott Ketchum says that he's flying his uh, RC so the village is right out here, and I've just past the village, my grandson is living with his mom. And we'll be flying right over his school, which I can see uh, parts of the school are right here by the airport. Maybe that's the reason they closed it. So we've got it slow enough. That shit just about, look, some, some, something happened there. What was that? <laughs> oh, man. Tower, exeget, niner, zero, five, one, niner, miles, oh, man. Oh, man. Flaps up. Right I don't know what's going on there. Niner, zero, five, two, niner, niner, power. I don't know what that is. What's going on there? That's, it's it's a little glitchy, I must say. Cleared ILS runway one zero right. A little glitchy. 
that. So there, and then right off, right off in that direction, right up that little canyon is probably where my grandson lives, right over that way. And we can climb on out. I have no idea what what was going on there. Still doing some funny stuff. And we'll go pop over the hill here. Where before I had my instrument rating, we used to sneak in what they call the back door when they had the coastal fog. And before I had my instrument rating, we'd get a special VFR. And the little valley we'll see when I pop over the hill, I got to get this down to 25, 25. There's 25, 25, and we're in the green. So we'll see if Corral de Tierra is right over the hill here. And uh, there's a, they have a golf course there. So we've got, we've got, got to bring the power back and start, start uh, leveling off. And then we'll shoot right into Monterey. And we follow the Salinas Monterey Highway. I'll get a little different perspective here so I can see Corral de Tierra. And uh, the name of the club there is Corral de Tierra Country Club. And so we'll see a little golf course. I can see Laguna Seca, so we'll be on this side of Laguna Seca. And normally, normally you had a hole in the fog here. You'd have a finger that would sneak in, follow this little valley on the other side of Fort Ord into Salinas. And then the fog would be coming out Carmel Valley. And uh, we'd, uh, we'd just watch for, uh, for the, uh, the golf course here. We'd, we'd know we were... We know we were there. There's a golf course. So we we know we were over Corral de Tierra when we saw this golf course, and we'd see that. Then we just follow the the highway into Monterey, go right by the Gamma Seca. Beechcraft 527 Bravo Charlie is 5 miles east, 1,600 feet, with golf to land. Beechcraft 527 Bravo, Charlie Monterey Tower. Altimeter 29 or decimal 9 or 2 and calm enter left downwind runway 10 left. Skywest 5280, follow the aircraft on final. Wind calm cleared to land runway 10 right. Clear to land runway 10 right, Skywest 5280. Make left traffic runway 10 left, Beechcraft 7 Bravo Charlie. So we'll land on the little short runway. And we'll make left traffic for that. They don't want to straight in because they've got all these guys coming in to land. Sky 
Sky West 5, 280, go around. Yeah, they've got too many, too many aircraft in the pattern. <laughs> Going around Sky West 5, 280. Sky West 5, 280, contact NorCal approach on 127.15. Okay. Good day. I don't think they ever make some anybody go around. One two seven decimal one five sky west five two eight zero. Beechcraft seven Bravo Charlie Wincom caution the generic landing runway one zero right. Clear to land runway one zero left. Clear to land runway 10 left Beechcraft 7 Bravo Charlie. Full flap. Power back. I've never landed on 10 left. We'll see how it goes here. I think I'm lined up with it. Yeah, I see it now. I see it now. <laughs> Got an airplane in the way. There we go. At least it didn't jump around that time. Okay, dokey. One two zero decimal eight seven five for Beechcraft Seven Bravo Charlie. Wow, never seen so many airplanes over here. <laughs> uh, got a whole whole squadron. Full squadron. Monterey Tower, South American 1006 miles north, inbound ILS runway 10 right approach. South American 100 Monterey Tower. Altimeter 29 or decimal 9 or 2 in calm cleared ILS runway 10 right approach. Yeah, they barely have room for me. Cleared ILS runway one zero right approach South American one zero zero. We'll just park, park on the blacktop. I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it. That's enough. Thanks for, thanks for flying Air Chance.
There we go. 